Hey everyone, welcome back. In today's menu, oh no, we're not cooking today. We are actually going to be talking about vitamin B12. You might wonder why I'm talking about vitamin B12, but I get asked a lot of questions about this. There is one particular question that I get asked all the time, which is, our ancestors did not take vitamin B12 supplements, although they were vegetarian, but why do we need to take vitamin B12 supplements? I do have an answer for that question, but you have to watch the video right to the end to get that. Vitamin B12 is a water-soluble vitamin that is essential for formation of red blood cells which carry oxygen around our body, for the synthesis of DNA and also for proper functioning of our central nervous system. It also has a number of metabolic functions in our body too. Deficiency of this vitamin can cause anemia, it can also cause extreme fatigue, improper functioning of our nervous system, improper mental functioning and overall poor health. Some people also feel tingling and numbness in their body. Food is not always a reliable source of vitamin B12, especially if you're plant-based. I mean vegetarian or vegan, but people that eat animal food like milk, cheese, yogurt, poultry, fish, meat, etc. can also be deficient. Vitamin B12 is primarily found in animal foods and there is no vitamin B12 in any plant foods. So if you are plant based, you have to consume your B12 either from supplements or from fortified foods. Fortified foods are those where we have added nutrients. You can find fortified cereals, fortified plant based milks and fortified nutritional yeast. Fortified nutritional yeast especially is an amazing source of vitamin B12 for vegans and vegetarians. So anyone over the age of 14 years needs about 2.4 micrograms of this vitamin. You can get this by taking a supplement of 25 to 50 micrograms of cyanocobalamin as not all of the vitamin B12 that you take is absorbed. If you're over 65 years, you may have to take doses of up to 1000 micrograms because as we get older, the body's ability to absorb this vitamin becomes poorer. And by the way, if you smoke, if you have kidney problems or if you have any other medical problems, please contact your doctor because you may have to take a different form of vitamin B12 called methylcobalamin. You don't have to worry about taking too much of this vitamin because any excess will be automatically excreted via the urine. If you've never had your vitamin B12 levels checked before, then it's a great idea to get it checked because you don't want to wait for deficiency symptoms to occur before you go ahead and do that blood test. And it's also good to get it checked every year. Vitamin B12 is actually made by certain bacteria in the soil. In olden days when we ate fruits and vegetables, we didn't wash them like we do today in our modern sanitized world and also these bacteria were formed in the water. So our tap water is chlorinated and we vigorously wash our fruits and vegetables to get rid of all the dirt and therefore we don't get the vitamin B12 from the soil. Instead, we eat animals that eat manure and thereby get vitamin B12. So I hope that answers that question. That's it from me today. This is Vishwa signing off for Feed Your Body, Mind and Soul. Stay happy, stay healthy. Bye.